YouTube, what's up, this is Nate here. And alongside Google's announcement of the Nexus 4 today, they also made some changes to their Nexus 7 lineup. So let's go ahead and take a look at that here on the Google Play Store. So what they've done now is made this tablet an even better value. So you used to be able to get an eight gigabyte model for 199. Now you'll be able to get 16 gigabytes of storage at that same price. Then you can get a 32 gigabyte model for 249 and you can get a 32 gigabyte model with Wi-Fi and HSPA plus mobile data uh, for 299 and that would be unlocked so you could use like an AT&T or T-Mobile SIM card uh, there on the inside. So I think this is a really great idea uh, for Google to do this. They're making the tablet even a more compelling buy and a greater value for the consumer, uh, especially when you compare this to maybe the recently announced iPad mini. You can pretty much do the same things on both tablets. Of course, you can make the argument that maybe the iPad mini has a better design to it. Um, you know, also with the iPad mini, the apps are optimized for that screen, whereas with the Nexus uh, 7, most of the apps are just blown up smartphone apps. Um, but still, at the end of the day, you can do both uh, pretty much the same things on both tablets. And if you're looking to get the most bang for your buck, the Nexus 7 is definitely the way to go. So let me know what you think about this tablet uh, in a comment down below and the changes that uh, Google has made to it. And also be sure to check out my video on the new Nexus 10 tablet that Google also announced today.